Hello everyone. In this video, we shall discuss how to solve systems of three linear equations in three variables. So when we have three variables, the solution set of the system would be an ordered triple x comma y comma z that satisfies all the three equations. So when you substitute the values of x, y, z in all the three equations, the equality must be achieved. Now, for this particular example, our first equation is 2x minus y plus 3z equals 10. Second equation is 5x plus 7y minus 2z equals 13. And the third equation is x minus 4y minus z equals negative 10. So here we have to choose uh, one pair of equations so from the three equations. So let's choose equation number one and equation number two. Let's write them down. So it's 2x minus y plus 3z equals 9. And we have 5x plus 7y minus 2z is equal to 13. So here in this pair, we, we need to eliminate one variable so we can choose from x, y, or z. But in this case, it would, it would be simpler if we eliminate the variable y. And this is done by... Uh, multiplying both sides of the first equation by 7. So in this case, the first equation will now become 14x minus 7y plus 21z is equal to 9 times 7, which is 63. And then we copy the second equation, which is 5x plus 7y minus 2z is equal to 13. And then adding the resulting equations, uh, will give us 19x and then the negative 7y and 7y will cancel out. While for z, we have 21z minus 2z is positive 19z, which is equal to 63 plus 13, which is 76. Now observe that this equation can still be simplified further by dividing both sides of the equation by 19, and that will give us x plus z is equal to 76 divided by 19, which is 4. So we only divided by 19 just to get no, a simpler equation. So x plus z equals 4 will now be designated as our equation number 4. And then the next step is to get another pair from the three equations that is different from the pair that we have used previously. So in this case, we can make use of equations one and three. So equation one is 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to nine. Equation three is x minus 4y minus z is equal to negative 10. Now for this particular uh, pair, we need to eliminate the same variable that we eliminated in the first pair. So since in the first pair, we eliminated the variable y, for the second pair, we shall also eliminate the variable y. And in that case, we need to multiply uh, both sides of the first equation by negative 4. And in that case, uh, we get negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative y is positive 4y. Negative 4 times 3z is negative 12z. And then for the right side, we have 9 times negative 4, which is negative 36. And then we copy the second equation. Uh, x minus 4, y minus z equals negative 10. And then eventually adding the resulting equations. And that will give us negative 7x. And then the variable y will be eliminated. And then we get negative 12z minus z, which is negative 13z. And then negative 36 minus 10 is negative. So we can actually multiply both sides of the equation by negative y. So we get 7x plus 13z is equal to positive 46. So this will be our equation number 5. So now observe that equations 4 and 5 are both uh, in terms of x and z. So we can pair them up you know, using a system. So we have x plus z is equal to 4 and then 7x plus 13z is equal to 46. So now we have a system having only uh, two variables. So in this case, we can use um, elimination method again. So we can either eliminate x or z. And in this case, we can multiply both sides of equation number um, 
4 by negative 7. And that will give us negative 7x minus 7t is equal to negative 28. And then we copied the fifth equation, which is 7x plus 18z equals 46. And then adding this resulting equation to give us 6 times z is equal to uh, negative 28 plus uh, 46, which is positive 18. And then dividing both sides of this equation by 6, this would imply that z is equal to positive 3. So now we have the value for z. So in order to solve for the other variables, we will be using z equals 3 and substituting it to either equations 4 or, or 5. So using equation number 4, we have x plus z is equal to 4. Substituting 3 to z, we get x plus z equals 4. And then transposing 3 to the right side, we obtain x is equal to positive 1. And now, since you already have the values for x and z, we substitute both of these values to any of the original equations. So here, let us use equation number 1, which is 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to 9. And then substituting 1 to x and positive 3 to z, we get 2 minus y plus 9 equals 9. And then we get negative y plus 11 equals 9. Transposing 11 to the right side, we get negative y is equal to negative 2. And then dividing both sides by negative 1 will give us y is equal to positive 2. So for this problem, our solution set is in the ordered triple x equals 1, y equals 2, and z is equal to 3. Okay, for our second example, okay, let us consider the following system. So our first equation is 3x plus y minus 5z equals 5. Second equation is just 2x plus 3 times z equals 4. And our third equation is x minus 4y plus 9z equals 6. Now for this particular problem, observe that the second equation only has or has only two variables. So which means we can make use of equations 1 and 3. And then from that system, we're going to eliminate the variable y. So that we're going to get an equation having only x and z. And eventually, we pair them up or we pair that up with the second equation. So let's copy the first equation, which is 3x plus y minus 5z equals 5. And then the third equation is x minus 4y plus 9z is equal to 6. So in here, we shall multiply the first equation by uh, positive 4 in order to eliminate the variable y. And that will give us 4 times 3x, which is 12x. 4 times y is 4y. 4 times negative 5z is negative 20z. And then 5 times 4 is 20. And then we copy the third equation, which is x minus 4y plus 9z equals 6. And then adding both of the resulting equations, we get 13x, and then the variable y will be eliminated, and then we have minus 11z is equal to 20 plus 6, which is 26. So let's call this equation number 4. And then this equation will be paired up with equation number 2, since both of them uh, are in terms of x and z. So we write 2x plus 3z equals 4 for the second equation. And for the fourth equation, we have 13x minus 11z is equal to uh, 26. Okay, so here we have a system having only two variables. So we can solve this by elimination method. We can either eliminate x or eliminate z. So if we decide to eliminate z, we need to multiply uh, equation number 2 by 11. And then we multiply equation number four by positive three. Okay, and this will result in the following. So the second equation will become 22x plus 33z is equal to four times 11, which is 44. And then the fourth equation will become 39x. And then three times negative 11 is negative 33. And then three times 26 is equal to 
Okay. And then adding the resulting equations will give us 61x and then 33z minus 33z will cancel out. And then 44 plus 78 is 122. Then dividing both sides by 61 will give us x is equal to positive 2. Okay, and then from this value, though we, we shall substitute this to either equation 2 or equation number 4. So let us use equation number 2, which is 2x plus 3z equals um, 4. And then we substitute 2 to x. So that's 2 times 2 plus 3z equals 4. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3z equals 4. Transposing 4 to the right side, we get 3z equals 0. And then dividing both sides by 3, this would imply that z is equal to 0. Okay. And then since we already have the values for x and z, we substitute them to either equations 1 or 3 to be able for us to solve for the variable y. So in this case, let us use equation number 1, which is the x plus y minus 5z equals 5. And then substituting 2 to x and 0 to z will give us the following equation. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus y minus 0 equals 5. So this will be y plus 6 equals 5. And transposing 6 to the other side, we get y is equal to negative 1. So our solution set for this problem would be x is equal to 2, comma, y is equal to negative 1, comma, z is equal to 0. And then for our last example, let's consider the following system. So the first equation has two variables, 3x plus 4z equals 7. Second equation also has two variables, y and z, which is y minus 2z equals negative 1. And then the third equation also has two variables, which is given by x plus 6 times y is equal to 7. Okay, so in this case, we can uh, choose any pair any pair of equations from the three equations. So if we're going to choose equation one and two, we have three x plus four z is equal to seven. And then the second equation is y minus two z is equal to negative one. So here, if we're going to eliminate the variable z, the resulting equation will be in terms of x and y which can then be paired with equation number three. So in here, we shall eliminate the variable z by multiplying both sides of the second equation by positive two. Okay, so that means we're going to rewrite equation number one, which is three x plus four z equals seven. And then the resulting equation for the second one will be two times y, minus 4z is equal to negative 2. Okay. Adding the resulting equations will give us 3x plus 2y. And then 4z minus 4z is 0. And then 7 plus negative 2 is positive 5. So we call this equation number 4. So this equation will then be paired with equation number 3. So equation 3 is x plus 6y equals 7. And equation number 4 is 3x plus 2y is equal to positive 5. So since this is a system having two variables x and y, we can eliminate either x or y by multiplying uh, both sides by uh, negative 3. So both sides of the, the fourth equation by negative 3. That is to eliminate the variable y. So if we're going to eliminate the variable y, we need to multiply the fourth equation by negative 3. So that means we will rewrite the third equation. And then the fourth equation becomes negative 9x uh, minus 6y is equal to negative 15. And then adding the resulting equations will give us negative 8x. And then 6y minus 6y will be 0. And then 7 plus negative 15 is negative 8. So dividing both sides by negative 8, that will imply that x is equal to positive 
y. So to solve for the other variables no, uh, for x equals 1, if you substitute x equals 1 to the first equation, we're going to get the variable b. So using equation 1, we have 3 times 1 plus 4z is equal to 7. And then 3 plus 4z is equal to 7. Transposing 3 to the other side will give us 4z is equal to 7 minus 3, which is positive 4. And then dividing both sides by positive 4 would imply that z is equal to positive 1. And then finally, uh, we can substitute the value of z to equation number 2 in order to solve for y, or you can use the value of x equals 1 and substitute it to equation number 3 in order to solve for the value of y. So if we're going to choose equation number 2, that's going to be y minus 2z is equal to negative 1. And then we substitute 1 to z. And then we get y minus 2, which is equal to negative 1. And then transposing negative 2 to the other side, we obtain y is equal to positive 1. So our solution set for this problem would be x equals 1, y equals 1, and z is equal to 1. So thank you for listening for this lecture about systems of three linear equations in three variables. So I hope that you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.